Hello, I have this PSD file and my image viewer happens to be able to show it to me, but there's more to it than meets the eye, so I want to convert it to PNG. I could use just any of the bazillion online converters for that, for example this, or uh, this, yes, or this, or this. Alright, so this is what I get from three of these. One, two, three. They do look identical, but it even has a white background. I want transparent background. Now, Zamzar is more interesting. It converted all the layers. Let me download the zip file of that. 5.4 megabytes? Really? The PSD, by the way, is 11.2. So this one actually exported a lot of stuff, but wow, the layers are weirdly named. But this is actually a method you can use. But I want to be able to do this offline and with exact control which layers get exported. I recommend using GIMP for that. It is free and open source and available for Linux, Mac and Windows. If you don't have GIMP yet, I suggest you install it or just get the portable version. So I'll just drag the PSD file into GIMP and first of all this one has a transparent background and second of all I can control all the layers here. So here I can turn on and off all the various bits and pieces of this character and there are also layer groups I can unfold and customize. For example, in this one I can pick the hair color. I can change the clothes as well. And uh, let's fix that background hair as well. Yeah, like that. And I can also control the background here. And once I'm ready, I can just right click, go to file and export as. And I'll just call this out fit1.png and export and export again and here it is. By the way, if you want to export every layer as a separate image, just right click, go to file and export as and then instead of a PSD or PNG ending use ORA and export. Still saving, still exporting. The export process can take a while as you can see down here. Just wait for this progress bar to finish. Ah, finally. So here's the ORA file and what you do now is rename it to zip. To be able to rename the file ending you have to go to view and make sure that file name extensions are visible. So let's rename this to ZIP and yes. And then right click and extract all and extract. And in here we have thumbnails, an XML file that contains things like position. And then we have the layers themselves, better names, but still kind of useless if you need the exact position of, for example, the glasses. Let me know if I didn't resolve all the problems you might have. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao.